Today, we are creating a worst case scenario. Imagine you're out for a day of fun in the Florida Keys and your boat runs into rocks and a sandbar and you become stranded. Now, you don't want to cook in the sun, so you try to make it to an uninhabited island. Will there be enough resources to save you until you get picked up? Wilson, wildlife biologist and Florida Keys expert. What is it that we're going to try to recreate? We are here because of a miniature dachshund by the name of Kiwi was stranded on the island right behind us for 30 days. So me and Coyote are going to try it for just 24 hours. We have been provided with dry bags that have minimal supplies and some production gear. But behind us is a broken down catamaran filled with junk which gives us the opportunity to scavenge a few more items. I say we each grab three things that will help us on our journey. You wanna go first? Sounds good to me. How's it looking in there? Uh, it's looking pretty scary. I, I did find a life jacket though. Really? Yeah, here you go. Hey, that's yeah, usable. I don't, know. I don't know, yeah. Got a lot of foam, got a lot of plastics. Oh God, it's disgusting in here. And uh, we, got some, uh, we got some trap line. We could definitely use some of this. All right, I found my third item. <laughs> this disgusting cup. This is gonna be gross. I really need to watch out for all these sharp things. Oh, scissors. Super rusted, but you could use that to easily spear something like a fish. Item number one. So I'm gonna give it a quick scout, just like Christina did. And I don't know how she missed this, but that's a boat hook. That could be super useful, actually. This thing right here might be a better flotation device. Okay, we've collected a few good resources, and the last thing you want to do if you're going to abandon your boat is try to leave a note telling somebody what direction you're headed, and hopefully you have a chance to rescue. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is scour this smaller island for some resources. No fresh water, no food, this island is definitely slim pickings. We are going to be leaving the small island and heading across to the big one. How far do you think that is? I'd say over half a mile. Yeah, from here it looks a lot further than you would think. Uh, but the big danger right now is going to be sea urchin, stingrays, and sharks. What it Long spine sea urchin right in here. Long spine right there. And that's venomous. See any sharks yet? I actually did see something over here. Really? Yeah, I just saw a fin. Are you kidding or no? I'm not, I'm not kidding. So you saw a fin between here and the island? Yeah, I mean, it, it was a good size. Uh, this is a really healthy area. A lot of things for uh, sharks to feed on. We can most definitely see a very dangerous bull shark, which within the last month, we have had three shark attacks believed to be bull sharks here in the Florida Keys. So it's it's a real deal right now. All right, so the crew with the leaving of that drone is leaving us in the middle of the ocean in chest deep water, quite possibly with bull sharks. All right, go ahead, you keep going. I'm gonna try to get these higher perspective shots of you. Oh. What'd you see? Oh. What? Something, what, what? There was something there, there was something there. Really, really for real? I'm very serious. I am very serious. There's something there. It's right is it a in front of Is us. it a ray or a shark? Did I don't you know, see it? dude. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is I like. I didn't see a fin, but it made a movement like a shark. It did not look like a ray. It's chasing something. It's hunting right now. We have made landfall. I can only imagine what it would have been like for Kiwi getting swept through the ocean, avoiding sharks and making it to landfall that poor little dog washed ashore thinking i am so far from home right now the first thing that we want to do is circumnavigate this piece of land so what we'll do is i will give you a gopro you go one direction i'll go the other let's see what additional resources we can collect i'm a little hesitant right now Holy cow. I've seen a lot of different mangroves and there's something something in the tree over here actually. A coconut. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? A coconut. <laughs> that is a lifesaver right there. There is a 
flow of water coming from the interior of the island. <clears throat> Definitely salt. This coconut's getting heavy, man. This is like holding a baby. You're so heavy, baby coconut, why? Whoa, here's one of those urchin. Look at that. It's like walking through a minefield. Urchin, urchin. Wild Christina, hopefully she's having better luck than me when it comes to finding stuff. You made it! Holy Good. cow, you have a coconut. Believe it or not, the first thing I found <laughs> was a brown coconut. Cheers, Woo! All right, so the items that we have been given in our dry bags. So there you have it, very minimal kit. But I gotta say, my favorite thing is the stuffed kiwi. So when you really break it down and you think about the items that were given to us, it's very, very bleak. The next task will be to explore the interior and see if we can find a place to possibly make shelter. Oh, look at this. Is this all solid? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think this is the best spot right here from what we've seen so far. It's just really hoping that we're not gonna get ripped up by bugs tonight. I found something. Oh, the geocache. <laughs> oh, you found it. Well, should I read the, the note that's left to us? Oh, yeah. Have a great day. It's fantastic. Okay. You are lost and on your own. Amidst the struggle, here's a bone. If all your hope is bleak, then these treasures your soul will seek. Hot broccoli. This, I'm assuming, was frozen at one point. Socks, actually. Barbecue socks. This, really, you guys? Really? Ooh, coconut milk. Dude, good find. This is good find. We have made cordage. We have made cordage. Talk to me, girl. We took that twine and made three different cordages out of it. So we are in the right realm right now. And Coyote at this moment is pulling a really great Les Stroud look right now. I am. And by embodying the spirit of Les, I feel I'm going to bring more to this production. <laughs> You're stupid. That's the dumb, <laughs> dumbest thing I ever said. But I love you, Les. All right, when we come back to you guys, this shelter is going to be up and rocking. We did it. We made shade. <laughs> How long did this take us? I would say a good two hours. Middle of the afternoon, sun is directly overhead. It is so unbearably hot. I'm trying to cool off. What you doing, dude? I'm doing that. Uh... <laughs> Kiwi! How you doing, buddy? Kiwi stole my bandana. Actually, Kiwi might make a nice pillow later. Dude, I was about to steal Kiwi to make a pillow for myself. I feel like if we get into those coconuts, it's gonna be a huge confidence boost for us in like 10 minutes. Welcome to Coyote and Christina's Island Kitchen. <laughs> you ready to open some coconuts? I'm so ready. So this, you gotta really kind of oh, okay. wedge down and work your way into it. And Christina's doing a pretty darn good job getting into that coconut. That's like hair. <laughs> That's beautiful. A lot of effort, but there you have it. I'm gonna just chip away some of this hard edge. There we go. Oh, look at that cute little face. Ah! All right, folks, here we go. Christina is going to be having <laughs> her first coconut experience. All right, here we go. Hopefully I'm not gonna spill any. That's okay. gonna be awesome. Wow. That was really good. That was really good. Wow, it is delicious. Here we go. Cutting into the skin of the green coconut. There we go, using all, all extremities here. I'm like a man monkey. <laughs> Woo! Dab you off. Yeah, thanks girl, appreciate it. Kiwi, buddy. <laughs> Woo, that was tough. <laughs> you gotta make a sound effect when you do it. It really helps out. That's what all the guys do in the gym, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, it's like, I feel like I'm breaking someone's leg when I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a mohawk. It's a Wilson. It's a Wilson. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm not even kidding. This thing is filled to the brim with water. Oh. Mm. Game changer. Wow. All right, well, there you have it. Cooking with Coyote and Christina <laughs> and Kiwi. This has been Coconut Breakfast Part 2, Coconut Lunch. Cheers. When it comes to things the kiwi may have eaten stranded on this island, there's a massive supply of hermit crabs. If that little dog could get one to flip upside down and it starts to pull out of its shell, 
bite down onto it, that would make quite a bit of nutrients for a small dachshund. How pretty is that? Whoa, that one's awesome. Wow, yeah, look at that. Wow, that's a big, that's a big pincher claw. Now, hermit crabs, as they grow, will move from shell to shell. Uh, the crab continues to grow, but the shells do not, so they have to find a new shell to move into. Oh wow, that is a big one. That is a monstrous hermit crab. Doesn't its legs look like strawberries? They do. It's actually trying to grip onto my finger right now. I am really hungry, and it's not like me to typically want to take an animal from the wild, but given today is a survival scenario, if we can catch a fish or a spiny lobster, we have a license and the permit to do so. So what I'm gonna to try to build now is a spear. And the thing that I'm most excited about that I salvaged from that broken down catamaran, this rusty pair of scissors. It seems like a really good thing to pin a lobster or a fish with. All right, so with this stick, it's kind of a neat design already as it is. If you see that, it's almost like a double scissor system. So I'm really thinking that it's all about getting the scissors to be locked in place on the stick. Okay, I have my first piece of paracord attached on, and we are ready to go out and try to catch some dinner. I see a huge crab. Whoa, it's totally mummified. Look at the pincher on that. You got it. Ooh, he stinks. Well, I guess I feel like you could hang out with us for a bit tonight yeah. when we make a fire. It's kind of got a personality, we you know? We have some island decor. Let's, yeah. Let's use it. My stomach is very angry with me, so I'm hoping to catch some fish right now. Ready for this scene? I would say yes, I is. <laughs> now, you're going to attempt fishing with the freshwater fishing lure, correct? Yes, I am. My goal is to maybe tickle out and then pin a spiny lobster. In all honesty, I give myself a one in 10,000 chance <laughs> that I could actually spear a fish. Whoa. Whoa, that is huge. Look how big that is next to my hand. I'm so hungry and our odds of catching a fish are so slim. I really had like this big vision in my mind that like, we'll catch a, a snapper or something. I think we're gonna be eating the Swedish fish tonight. How about you? <laughs> I haven't gotten a single bite. <laughs> I just want a cheeseburger. <laughs> Wilson! What, right here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> You've got a lobster. Dude, it's halfway out of the hole right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a little guy though. Not it can I be edible. Oh! Okay, the sun is down. It's about eight o'clock, and what have we caught? Nothing. Looks like we're gonna be eating our rations. <laughs> well, we're back with no fish. No fish. And no lobsters. <laughs> and it got dark in a hurry, especially here in the shade, and the noceums are starting to bite which means we need to get our fire lit. All right, so one of the things that the crew supplied us with was this little emergency fire starter kit. In all fairness, I've never used one of these before. What I've prepared here is a little bit of tinder from our super dried out coconut. This tinder will hopefully catch a spark rather easily, but considering it's already dark, we really need this to happen quick. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can make it happen with these little things. It's important to note, this is not a flame. This is just a little flint striker. So this is spinning around and making a spark. It's not making a flame. So we have no fire, so this doesn't work. We are straight up out of luck. <laughs> no, that's not directions. Well, this is working better to do it. <gasps> yeah! It's just not catching. Come on, coyote, you can do it. A lot of smoke, not a lot of fire. I wonder if this little thing from the fishing lure yeah, good idea, will actually. maybe will maybe burn. You could be our savior. He didn't catch us any fish, but maybe you'll make us a fire. Whoa. Yes. Yes. <laughs> fire! <laughs> you don't want your teepee to collapse. So what I always do is look for good Y sticks. Right, so you see this? See that there? Yeah. That Y, you anchor it in, and then you put other sticks on top, and they hold in place so that it all doesn't collapse down. 
I am not good at survival by any means, but I do like starting campfires. Yeah, all right. The second you get a fire going, it's just like, you forget about being hungry. You forget that you're stranded. This comforting feeling is like your own world. We're glowing now. It got real dark in a hurry. We didn't see that coming, but now that we've got fire, we're in good shape. Yeah. That was awesome. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Coyote and Christina. What do we catch out there today in the ocean? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we're gonna have to resort to the couple of supplies that we were given. Oh wait, I almost forgot to mention our other dinner guest. We have not named the dead crab We yet. should probably name him. Harry? Harry. Harry. Yeah, okay. Hey, Harry. Hey, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm wondering if I can just smack these coconuts together and see if they'll break. I mean, you can go for it. I'm gonna try that like solid, like ooh, ooh, monkey style. Ooh. And just see what happens. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! Wow! Are you serious? I'm for real. <laughs> I broke it right now. <laughs> now I say we grill up some delicious Swedish fish. I'll go two at a time here for us. Let's see how the first two work out. Ooh, gooey, right? gooey. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> wow. How are we gonna crack this thing open? I got a knife. Whoa, look at that color. Oh, oh. oh wow. I mean, wow. Is that good? <laughs> that is really good and really creamy. It has been a long day, my friends. We're gonna head out into the tide pools and see if we can still catch some fish using the stinky broccoli. With any luck, we'll catch something and the sharks won't catch us. So we have found something cool, a stingray. And this is exactly what we were hoping to not run into earlier today. Okay, so we're gonna try a little broccoli test here. Yeah. Ooh. This may be working. Fish may be coming in. It is not interested in this disgusting broccoli. Here, hold the GoPro. I'm gonna try the spear method. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> Nurse shark. Beautiful. Came right at my foot. Yeah, and it was like, see ya! They love the structure of the mangroves out here. I'm pretty sure that's an eel down in the rocks. That looks like an eel. Oh. So maybe gently move. Oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, it's the tail. There's his tail. How beautiful is that? He's, oh, he's going to slither back. Oh. There he goes. <gasps> it is pretty late almost midnight. We're super tired. I would love to keep going to try to get a lobster in the deeper area. We have definitely seen some big fish jumping at points tonight and big fish jumping means bigger fish hunting for them. There are sharks out here, not worth losing your leg over. Head back to camp? Yes, sir. We're heading back to camp. We are back from our tide pool expedition. Uh, it is approaching 1.30 in the morning at this point, and we are absolutely exhausted. I think we're going to dial down the cameras and see if we can get a little bit of shut eye. I'm down. You think you're gonna be able to sleep? Probably not. Guess who can't sleep? You, Harry! Come on into the sea! on your podium. Don't fall in the fire. Jump over the flames. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Have a great day. Great day. At three in the morning, I prefer my coconut milk to come out of a coconut bowl. Would you like some, Harry? I didn't think so. Ghosts don't drink coconut milk. <sighs> I saw lightning in the background. Polar coconut milk. It's probably the worst night of sleep I've ever had. But let me show you my bedroom. This is where I slept. 
right there. I don't know where Christina is. Something must have come in the middle of the night and taken her away. Oh, there you are. Good morning. You, you're watching sunrise. I'm watching the sunrise. How'd you sleep? I uh, woke up about 10 plus times. And uh, if you didn't just hear it, there's a bird called the clapper rail. And they make this really wild noise. And then a whole bunch of them start going in on it. So that's something that uh, has been keeping me up. And at some point, Coyote, your foot was partly in the fire. Really? And so I had to move your foot. <laughs> oh. Let's take a look at my foot. It was your left foot. That yeah, would be this one. Foot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's still there. Yeah. I see part of the sun popping up right now. Oh, Ooh. cool. All right, let's run this camera and get right. that shot. morning and we're going to be picked up in the exact same fashion that Kiwi was by a wildlife biology team. That was a butterfly biologist that discovered Kiwi. But who's picking us up today? Today we are getting picked up by a team named Mang and they are all about mangrove restoration here in Florida and actually in the Bahamas as well. In our survival kits we were left with two emergency items. The first a distress flag. The second is this really nice little whistle here. They can't see us. Hopefully they can hear us. Okay, the boat sees us. There it is. We just got to get all the way out there. Christina, yeah. you ready? I'm so ready. Kiwi, you ready? Ready. All right, we've got a ways to go, but that's our boat. We're getting out of here. It was brutal and I'm ready to get home. Oh, no, no. thank you. Woo! Well, we did it. We survived for 24 straight hours on the island that little Kiwi survived on for 30 days. We are hungry, we are thirsty, we are sun cooked. But this was one of the craziest challenges I think either of us has ever gone through. For certainly. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Christina Wilson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Woo, we did it. <laughs>